Welcome to WebPixels Design Explain. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Football Laydown 2.0 mockup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. And we're going to design this Florida Gators uniform. So I'm going to zoom in here onto the Riddell Speed Flex helmet, one of the new additions. And I'm just going to turn these off for a second because the, the shut helmet is still in there if you wanted to use that as an alternate. Today we're just going to use the Riddell. So I'm going to hold down Command and click on the helmet. And go into my libraries where all my colors are and I'm just going to choose white. Now to open up the libraries, you just go to window and libraries. So what I've also done here in my libraries, I've added the green, blue, and orange from the logos. And to do that, you just simply use the eyedropper tool, double click on your color, and then add to swatches, and it'll put it there for you. It makes the workflow much quicker. And also using these solid colors, you can easily double click or just click in the library and it'll change it for you. I'm going to hold command and click on this helmet stripe. We'll add those colors in. So using the marquee tool, I'm just going to make a box. Go to solid color and it's already selected. Okay. Duplicate with command J. I'm just going to resize it down. This color is going to be white. Command J to duplicate that. Scale it down. Command T. And this will be blue. Save and close. And there you go. Helmet stripe is on. All right. And then hold it down. Command. I'm going to click the face mask, the chin strap, the padding, all of those layers. And then I'm just going to click on my white and it turns all those layers white. That easy. I'm just going to make these the brand orange. Now, uh, hold command and hold command and click on the shell. And right above that layer, you'll see the smart object for the helmet logo. I'm going to double click that to open it. And I have a folder that has all the logos that I need to place on the helmet already ready. I'm just going to scale it up to, to ever so slightly and hit enter. And then with the eye, click on this eye icon to turn off the grid, save and close. And there you go. The Gators logo is on the helmet. All right. And now we're going to move over to the bumper. Hold down command and click on the, the color so you can change it. Make it white. And then the bumper logo, just click where it says WebPixum, double click. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that Gator again, Gators logo. Scale it down. Hit enter. Make sure you turn that bottom layer off. Save and close. And there you go, it's on the bumper. Now, the helmet to your right, which is the left side of the helmet, uh, you can already see that the Gators logo is there. I'm gonna go down to the shell logo and I'm gonna turn on the smart object for the shell. And as you can see, the Gators logo is backwards. So to a workaround to this is go back to the original, select that layer, there it is. That's the original. I'm just going to duplicate that command J turn off the original and I'm going to rasterize right click rasterize layer. That way it's locked. It doesn't move. Now the smart object is still there. You can turn it on when you need it. But since we're going to be making changes to the overall smart object, just double click that command T flip horizontal and hit save close. So now what it will do, it will flip it 
in our mock-up. So now it's correct on both sides without there being any issues. So if you wanted to add a number to the side, you can totally do that. Just make sure you keep your original, lock the, lock the duplicate or rasterize it so it doesn't change. And I'm gonna finish this one out. And I wanna make the helmets matte. So I'm gonna to go to both helmets. Right now it's on gloss. Drop down the textures layer and in there you'll see chrome, matte, and gloss. So I'm just gonna turn matte, the matte layer on. That's chrome if you wanted it to be chrome. You wanna keep it at matte. Then we're gonna move along to the jersey, applying those same steps. I'm just gonna to go to effects, bevel and emboss, and it has applied the default bevel and emboss that I'm gonna carry throughout the entire design. And using the magic wand, W on the keyboard, select what the white and hit Command J. It'll automatically jump above the layer, including the effects. And then I'm gonna select the blue, hit Command J, and there you go. And now you have the embossed look to the numbers. There you go. We're gonna hit command and click on the jersey. Take me to the jersey layer. I'm gonna get this SEC logo. Just pull it right in here. And I'm gonna scale it down. So you don't necessarily have to use the big smart object for little things like this. I usually use the smart, the full smart object, which is right above for uh, patterns. So if I'm, if I'm making something that's a little bit more custom, I'll use the pen tool or I'll just drag the logo right in there. All right, so let's add some effects to this bevel and emboss. And we'll just add a quick drop shadow, which is way too much. So we're gonna bring that distance down to four and the size down to three. Now let's change that angle to 60%. And the blending mode is multiply and 47% opacity. Click OK. All right, so for the stripes, I'm um, sorry, straps, let's add the Gators logo to those. This will look pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna resize it. Just a little bit here. All right, make sure you make a clipping mask so you don't hold down Alt and you'll get this little drop down arrow and it'll clip it right to your underlying layer. I'm just going to put some teeth. I'll get a teeth on it. I'm going to hit command J to duplicate that. Let's rotate that around for the other side over here. Make it a clipping mask. There you have it. So I'm going to show you another tip of how I finish out a design project. I don't just stop here. Let me add a logo to this chest real quick. This Gators logo. It's right above the jersey layer here. Make it a clipping mask. That was kind of cool. Let's just scale it down. Drop it over here. Now 
I'm going to add the same effects, the bevel and emboss and the drop shadow. Click OK. All right. That's done. So go down to the grass layer and right above that, you're going to click uh, hue saturation. And we're going to bring the saturation down to about 27%. Fade that grass out a little bit. And I'm going to select all the layers. Just hold down and hold shift all the way to the top. Hit Command J to duplicate everything. Hit Command E and it'll put it all in one layer for you. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time. Change its blending mode to soft light and change its opacity to 30% by just tapping the number three. All right, I'm going to take both of those layers. Hit Command J, Command E, and now you have, and right here in this little those area, two locked together. Um, so if you don't have any text in there, let's just put top. You just double click, it'll open up the layer styles for you automatically. And right here in channels, I'm just gonna turn green off. Click OK. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what happens. And I'm just gonna tab it over with the uh, right arrow a couple times. You can see like it looks a little digital now. So this is what it's like extreme, but we're not gonna do it like that. Just tap it over about four, three to four times. Should be good. Talk back some. All right, so now we have that slightly digital look. And then I'm gonna select this kind of really bright blue and bright orange, which is kind of already there. Okay. Hit G on the keyboard for gradient. Just make sure you have it, your gradient selected. Hit okay. From the top right corner down to the left bottom corner. And change this blending mode to soft light. And we're gonna knock down that opacity down to do 15%. And there you have it, the football lay down 2.0 mock-up explained. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you like this video and yeah. want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. LA BB who we running with. Yeah. 2233 I'm on 10 again. Yeah. State your name.